The quadratic function u of t models the annual unemployment percentage rate for the Phoenix Mesa Scottsdale area from the beginning of 2008 through the end of 2014, where t represents the number of years since 2008. Now because this model is only good from the beginning of 2008 through the end of 2014, the possible inputs of possible values of t are only when t is greater than or equal to zero and less than seven. When t equals zero, that's the beginning of 2008. If t was equal to seven, that would be 2008 plus seven or the beginning of 2015, which does not apply for this model. And that's why we don't include seven in the domain of this quadratic function. And when t is greater than or equal to zero and less than one, we are in the year 2008. When t is greater than or equal to one and less than two, we are in the year 2009, and so on. And now let's look at the question. Use a graphing method to determine the years in which the unemployment rate was greater than 6.25%, which means we need to determine when u of t is greater than 6.25, and we will solve this graphically. We will solve it graphically by graphing the given quadratic function as well as u of t equals 6.25. Let's look at the graph and then I'll show how you can duplicate this on the T84. So here's the graph of the quadratic function over the domain from zero to seven, including zero and not including seven. Notice the closed point on the left and the open point on the right. And here's the constant u of t equals 6.25. Because we are trying to determine when u of t is greater than 6.25, we are trying to determine when the graph of the quadratic function is above the red horizontal line. So what we can see would be from here on the left when t equals zero, all the way over to this point on the right where t is approximately 5.5 and u of t equals 6.25. We would not include this endpoint though because we only want to know when u of t is greater than 6.25, not greater than or equal to. So notice how u of t is greater than 6.25 when t is greater than or equal to zero and less than approximately 5.5. We're using interval notation. We have from zero to 5.5, square bracket to the left of zero because zero was included, and they write a parenthesis to the right of 5.5 because 5.5 is not included. In order to solve this though, we do have to determine this point of intersection. Let's review how we can do this using the TI-84. Notice I've already entered the quadratic function in Y1 and the constant function 6.25 in Y2. The next step is to press window to adjust the axes, which I've already done, and then press graph. You notice how this looks just like the graph we have on the screen. We want to find this point of intersection. To do this, we press second trace for the calculation menu, option five for intersection. And now we want to move the cursor closer to the point of intersection we are looking for, which is the intersection point on the right. So we press the right arrow and then simply press enter three times. So enter, 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 and we can see the x coordinate, or in our case, the t coordinate, is approximately 5.5. So going back to our problem, we're asked to write the answer using interval notation, run it to one decimal place. So the interval is from zero to 5.5, again, including zero, and not including 5.5. And now we're asked to complete the following sentence using the information from the graph. The unemployment rate was above 6.25% starting in the year, well at t equals zero, we're at the year 2008, and ending in the year at approximately 5.5, notice how this is in the year 2013. Let's take a look at part B. Part B, we have the same model for the same years, and we're asked to use a graphing method to determine the years in which the unemployment rate was less than 8.25% which means now we want to determine when u of t is less than 8.25. So now we'll go back to the graph. Instead of graphing u of t equals 6.25, we now graph u of t equals 8.25. And because we are trying to determine when u of t is less than 8.25, we want to determine when the graph is below the red horizontal line. And again, we don't include the intersection points because we want to know when u of t is less than 8.25, not less than or equal to. So notice how this piece of the graph is below the horizontal line. And again, we don't include the intersection point 
So we have an open point here. Notice how the intersection point is approximately 1.2,8.25, which we can verify in a moment. And then the graph is also below the red horizontal line over this interval. And again, not including the intersection point here, which is when t is between 4.1 and 7. So using inequalities, we would have t greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1.2, as well as when t is greater than 4.1 and less than 7. We're using interval notation. We have the interval from 0 to 1.2. It includes zero, it does not include 1.2 union, the open interval from 4.1 to seven. And again, our question asks us to express this using interval notation. But let's review on the 84 how we can find these points of intersection. So let's press y equals, let's change y2 to 8.25, press graph. Let's find this point of intersection first. We press second trace for the calculation menu, Option five for intersection. And let's move the cursor closer to this first point of intersection. And press enter three times. Enter, enter, enter. And we can see the T value is approximately 1.2. And for the intersection point on the right, again, second, trace, option five. Move the cursor close to the point of intersection and press enter three times. Enter, enter, enter. And we can see the T coordinate is approximately 4.1, which is what I have here on the screen. So let's go back and answer the question. We're asked to write the answer using interval notation. So U of T is less than 8.25. I'm gonna go ahead and write it down here. Over the interval from zero to 1.2, it includes zero. It does not include 1.2 union, the interval from 4.1 to 7, where both endpoints are not included. And now let's complete the sentence. The unemployment rate was below 8.25% starting in the year. T equals zero represents the year 2008. And ending in the year, a T value just less than 1.2 is going to be in the year 2009 as well as starting in the year, a value just greater than 4.1 is going to be in the year 2012. And ending in the year, a value just less than seven is going to be in the year 2014. I hope you found this helpful.